and then and then morning and welcome to the purge <laughs> it turns out i don't have to take the satchel sachet thing until six o'clock tonight it said six to eight i'll give you some of the instructions this is the stuff that destroys your body empties you out as they might say uh, a couple things i've already screwed up it said three days before no nuts seeds or vegetables three days before so Last night we went for sushi and there's vegetables in the sushi and there were um, sesame seeds on one of the sushi rolls. So I kind of muffed that up. Uh, if you're prone to constipation, have two of these. Just in case, I thought I'd go by the book and just took two of those last night. Had a very pleasant morning. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so it said the whole day before. So last night I screwed up when I was talking to you guys about having a breakfast. So I thought it's 24 hours before the procedure. No. The whole day. It's in bold. <clears throat> right there. The whole day. <clears throat> um, the whole day before the colonoscopy. Um, even breakfast. Have only clear liquids. This includes uh, jello, strained broth, no noodles, consomme, soups, um, apple juice, clear tea, coffee, clear coffee. So my, my sister said, do yourself a favor and don't drink coffee, but I drink coffee so other people can live. So I'm gonna have my two in the morning and then I won't have any more for the rest of the day like normal. I wanna keep that normal. That's one, you can't put cream or sugar in it. Well, I guess you could put sugar in it or the stevia or whatever because here you're, you're, you're allowed to drink like seven up and ginger ale uh, and water. So let me continue the list. So clear tea, clear coffee, ginger ale, seven up and water. Do not eat solid food, drink milk or no red liquids or red jello. I guess that can screw up the results of this whole thing. So, so I had to take one of those packages at six to 8 p.m. tonight. I'm gonna take it at six because I really don't wanna be waking up. Uh, if I take it at eight, then it'll start affecting me. It says three hours, I think after. So 8, 9, 10, 11. I don't want to be like rushing to the washroom at 11 o'clock at night. So I'm going to take it at 6. Hopefully I can get everything out before I go to bed. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Uh, and then it says I have to... Uh, where is it? Uh, and then I have to take the second one 4 to 5 hours before my procedure at 8 a.m. He put in brackets for me. Uh, I guess it depends on what time your procedure is. Um, and I have to dilute the sat chat with 150 milliliters of water. You must consume six to eight glasses of clear fluid after each dose, which is funny because they tell us don't drink anything for two hours. Okay, there we go. Yeah, important. Some of these things feel like they're contradicting each other, but they're not. So I have to drink six to eight glasses of clear fluid. Uh, two of these must be sports drinks, Gatorade to replace electrolytes. Make all attempts to get this done within a two, an, an hour or two. Visualization of your bowel and polyp detection depends on flushing. Plenty of fluid. If you're not well out, you have to proceed. You have to repeat the procedure. Yikes! You don't want that. Anyway, so that's it. Yeah, it gives you some other stuff that's going on. Wear like loose fitting clothes. So I'll do that kind of stuff for you tomorrow. But uh, Carol was awesome. She went out last night, got me beef broth, chicken broth, the bouillon things that you can just dissolve in water if I really want to. Uh, I'll take, I guess, two of those again. Oh, this is the night before, so I did that. Uh, I got my coffee right now, and then Carol also made things of jello. One, two, three. Thank you very much, Carol. She did that last night when she got home after dinner, after my. All you can eat sushi, which was, wasn't a good idea for what's going to happen next day or two. Anyway, so 
that's it. Uh, I'll have to get some work done and then I'll keep you up to date. But right now I'm just going to have, I guess, chicken broth for breakfast. It is now quarter to 12 and uh, I've gone number two three times. <laughs> and that was just with the laxative that I had. I weighed myself this morning. That was the other thing I forgot to tell you this morning. I weighed myself. Uh, I was 224 pounds. Uh, I, I predict that I'll be under 220 by tomorrow morning. T just before we leave, I'm going to weigh myself. Um, and some, I've got lots of amazing advice from you guys. Like, I didn't know that they actually, when they put the camera, woo, they actually fill you up with air. And then for minutes, hours, decades after uh you fart like crazy because they've pumped you full of air and it's got to come out somehow and it comes out your butt so uh i only took two of these last night these little pills i call it duplex it's not duplex it's called pooplex pooplex uh i've eaten one thing of jello so i did the yellow jello which i took a picture of and put it on my social medias which I'm getting tons of comments from you guys. I'm loving it. It is amazing. I'm, I'm hearing from people I haven't heard from in a long time. Uh, so everybody's wishing me luck. I appreciate that. So uh, I've got this one more jello here. I'm gonna, we're going to have to do two more because uh, I'm losing my mind already. And it's only been, well, it's been over 12 hours. I, I, I pretty much stopped eating any food last night at 8. I'm guessing because after we came back from sushi, uh came back from eating sushi i guess we weren't you know with sushi anyway so after we ate sushi i came back home and i didn't eat anything i just did the live show and drank water and watched uh what did i watch last night eight mile eminem i haven't uh it's like 9, 2002 is when it was released never watched it only seen snippets of it and uh since i watched compton a couple times i thought i'd catch up on some of the movies i haven't seen uh not that Compton was an old movie, as I said, it was a good movie, and all about rappers and all that stuff. So, uh, next step is I'm gonna probably I want to do I think I'm gonna do beef for lunch. Let's do it. Just after 12, I'm starting to actually get pains in my stomach because uh, I haven't eaten any food yet. Uh, the gel didn't really help, but I'm going to do, this is the beef broth. So let's pour that into there straight up. I don't think it's a concentrate. There we go. It smells good. So there we go. Yeah, I think it's just straight up broth. Just making sure. 30% less sodium. That's a good thing. All right, let's throw that in. That's probably like a two to three minute microwave cook. Once I eat that, drink that, then I'll take Sam for a walk. Let's go three minutes. Soup's on. Uh, after, while I was letting that cook, I went and read a couple of your comments uh, across my social medias and uh, YouTube channel. I think a lot of people think that I'm, I'm having a problem and I'm in trouble or uh, I'm having some issues or whatever. I'm not. Uh, when you hit 50, at least in Canada, that's all I know, or at least in Ontario, uh, the government sends you uh, basically a piece of paper saying in the mail saying, uh, you know, you're 50 now, it's time to check yourself for colon cancer and, or ch have yourself checked to prevent colon cancer, I guess. And so that's what this is. It's just a checkup. It's no different than getting your teeth cleaned every six months. Although this is way different. Taking Sam out for his little walk. That, that house went up for sale. I was very, very interested in it. But it was 1.4 million. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of cash just floating around. The consomme soup, or the I guess the beef broth, was uh, it tasted really good. So it almost felt like I ate food. Um, so I'm gonna probably wait an hour and then I'll have the chicken. 
and then we'll wait like a couple hours after that and have jello for dinner maybe but right now it's like 12 30 just starting to work on cooking and review gotta get that done as quickly as possible so you guys don't have to so you guys have something to watch time to try the chicken i'll pour it in time to nuke it three minutes was way too long by the way Let's just do two. Okay, back to work. Ooh. The beef was nice, but I'm thinking the chicken's just gonna be that beautiful chicken soup flavor. But it's too hot. Oh, I can just feel the heat. I'm not touching it. And this, this was a bad idea, look at this. I've got my favorite jalapeno chip sitting right there and cashews. I should have rethunk. We thunk what I was going to do. And then I got a box of cereal there, Pop Tarts, and a one pound Easter bunny made out of chocolate and peanut butter. This is not going so well. It is now uh, just after two. Uh, pretty much finished the cooking review. Just got to go through it one more time. Oops. This one was a huge gap. Right there. I got to fill that gap in with the um, uh, watermark. So, cancel. Paste, 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 paste. There you go. Now you can render. Select all, save. Always save before you hit the render button, man, let me tell you. The chicken soup was good. I think I prefer the beef one. Like again, it almost feels like you're eating meat. Oh, and that guy next door is barbecuing. Oh, I'm losing my freaking mind. <laughs> Quick little snack. I thought I'd put this in the fridge. This was in the cupboard earlier. I put it in the fridge so it's to get cold. Uh, I figured this would help possibly a little bit. Although it's going to make me even more gassy. Uh, at least I can have some Sprite. 7-Up. They said 7-Up or Sprite. And uh, yeah, I was going to drink some of that because I'm losing my mind. It is 6.30, I've had another bowl of Jell-O. Uh, I've been doing a two hour live stream right now and I'm on uh, hour three almost. Uh, we're at an hour and 58, 59 minutes, just roll over to 59 minutes. And we're doing a live stream with a bunch of people, just keeping my mind off food as I move the jalapeno chip bag out of my view. Uh, because, and then I've got all these cashews sitting right here, it's driving me nuts. So uh, <clears throat> Chandler says, hi people. And then we've got Giant Avocado in the house, Kelly, St. Savage, Christina V, Polly, Paul Eddie, I meant to say, Junissa, says hi Vanessa, love you, yo Christina, there you go. So there's a, we have 26 people in here, I've been uh, trying to see if I can break my all-time record uh, I think the most I, most likes I ever got during a live show, uh, I'm camera shy. Uh, that was uh, pro, pro, protagonist Jones fam. Um, but we got uh, 7,000, uh, 7,600 uh, thumbs up, which is great. T 19 shares, probably the most shares I think I've ever got. But I think the most likes I ever got was 20,000. So... I thought, let's do three-hour vlog, or sorry, three-hour live show, just to kill some time for me, meet and talk to a bunch of people, and uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, Marcy, we're going for three hours. We've got another hour to go. So phone people, get them to give me thumbs. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm going to do the little satchel thing and then drink all my fluids that I'm supposed to have within an hour or two hours, and I'll continue vlogging after the show. All right, see ya. It is 10 after seven. I am still live streaming. We've been going for two hours and 39 minutes. It is time to do this package of stuff. Oh boy. It's supposed to make you go to the washroom. Real, but it takes like two to three hours, which is good. It's not like, it smells like cranberry. Scratch it, sniff it, and it's going in. Here we go, people. Oh boy. The only thing I didn't do is bring a, a stirring stick. So the instructions are take one 
package between six and eight, which is now before and take the second one uh, in the morning, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I got to take the next one. Each thing dilute with 150 milliliters of water. You must consume eight, six to eight glasses of clear fluid after each dose. So I think that's two glasses. I would, I would imagine that's two glasses. I wish they'd give you an amount, but they don't tell you the amount. Okay, here we go. It's clearing up. Oh, because it's all on the bottom. Oh, boy. Looks like milk. Check it out. Live stream people. Check it out. Vloggers. Sorry about the noise. It's kind of tangy. It definitely has the cranberry cranberry taste. Cheers. Cheers. Sour. Oh. Your sister warned you use Vaseline. It's medicine type milk. It's like a cross between cranberry and Alka-Seltzer. It's got a bit of a fizz to it. Liam is here just in time for me to take my drugs. Ew. Ew. No, it also has a bit of um, a sour soother. You know those sour candies? Uh, after the sour is gone? That's what it tastes like. Drugs just for you and just for you, Chandler says. I just want to make sure I get all the powder. Uh, I, know, I know what this is doing to my body right now. And knowing that I know... Is not helping. Man, that sucks. Yes, it does. It could be worse. I've tasted worse things. And I've also heard about people drinking barium. And they have to have like a barium enema. And they have to drink the barium milkshake. Oh, boy. So I'm just going to make sure I've got the, the Gatorade. Okay, so I'm going to have to like write down what I've done so my wife doesn't bug me later on. All right, vlogging people. I did it. Oh, that's much nicer, by the way. Gatorade Frost. All right, I'm going to shut you guys off for a bit. I'll be right back. All done my live show. It was the longest live show I ever did. It was three and a half hours long. We almost got to 12,000 thumbs up during that live stream. Uh, there were one or two people. Uh, Chandler asked stayed with me the whole three and a half hours he actually put off his homework i told him to stop and do his homework but he was he's in university uh he's supposed to be studying for something and oh i was supposed to leave this out to remind me that i drank it i've been drinking so much liquids recently that during the live stream i guess about um i think i i took the medicine at 7 10 and by 10 to 8 uh, I had to go number one, which turned into number two and one surprise. <laughs> so, and as the live stream was going, it's just like, and then, and then, <laughs> all these funny noises coming from my body that I've never heard before. Uh, even after drinking a lot of pop, see, I feel bloated because this thing is the stuff i ate it feels like it's expanding me plus i'm drinking a lot of water so once you do the powder it says you have to drink six to eight glasses and uh six to eight glasses of clear fluid two of these glasses must be sports drinks so i drank this one sports drink which you saw right and then i drank two glasses of water uh, these are my next two glasses of water and then I have another sports drink I'm going to drink. I know that's more than a glass, but uh, yeah, I'm going to now kick back, relax, <clears throat> watch a movie, and uh, Sony just became a fan on you now. So yeah, so if anything weird happens, I'll turn the camera back on and talk to you. If not, then uh, 
yeah. Well, there's something's gonna happen between now and, and before I go to bed, so I'll, I'll vlog that. Uh, 